what a blessing to hear the word. Prayer cannot be separated from the office. Like a travail, a woman with child. And the travail is the prayer. And the child is the office. To work together. This week we're going to ask you to all here in um, this part of the world. Every day we want to be in prayer this week. We're going to ask you on Tuesday and Thursday night to do a midnight cry. Amen. We'll go to the branches, but it'll be prayer. Amen. The way we have been doing it. Tomorrow night in Orlando. And who? Church and then we say we're back here, you know, that we always announce it. But all week is prayer. Amen. And a Tuesday and Thursday midnight cry. Hallelujah. Now I wanted to just do something, just two little things quickly. The first thing I stumbled on the advertisement that was made when we advertised that we will be stepping into a project of the World Revival City. And it was put on the air, it was all over, it was on television, that the move of God will be stepping forward to acquire a place for the World Revival City. At that time, we had no special place. We were checking as far as Canada, New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, North Carolina, Washington, South Carolina, Georgia. Oh, just crazy. But I, I stumbled just on the, the advertisement. And I'm just going to read a little of it, quick. The next major project of Harvest Army International is to acquire a large estate as the World Revival City, the epicenter for the long-awaited end time revival. It will be the ultimate site on earth to invoke the outpouring of God's revival across the earth. Some of the features will be, some of the features will include the following. Listen, resource center, church, revival seminary, prayer mountain, stadium or amphitheater, television studios, music studios, hotel, auditorium, Christian theater, library, restaurant, bookstore, media center, restoration center, rehabilita rehabilitation quarters, practice pavilions, tents, campsite, residences, wells, springs, cabins, farms, storehouses, dormitories, sports, facilities, schools, annex, report, quarters, roads, ark, ship. So a lot of stuff I just read a while ago. And assuming that this got to be a very, very large place. We went looking for only very, very large place. Till we even found a place that is 221 acres. This 221 acres, one of the most beautiful places, but has only 9,000 square feet of building. No, I understand. That's smaller than any of these buildings. But there's a lot of land. In my bag, I don't have the time after us. We have the contract. Right in my bag right now, the contract. I think I was in New York and I let you read off something. Of the, you remember? Yes, sir. Yes. You read, you read the contract for that big place. Now listen, if we had gone that way, that's where we would be in right now. 221 acres. Ooh, square feet the Lord help us the Lord help us that we didn't go that way but you know 
I struggled. The Lord had to put me down. I struggled with the Lord. The Lord had to send me to the merging through. This preacher don't know about merging. I don't know what is that. Send me to God. I just want this. I just want that large place, Lord. If we had gone there, it would be on sale right now. You would demand that it be sold. Because it takes 10 years to build what is here. You would demand that it be sold. 221 acres. You said, Bishop, you got us. It would be on sale. Glory to God. So, I'm trying to understand, you know, how come I just stumbled on this thing? So, so I went and copied it, my little office copied it, and said, let me just tick off what has been accomplished in this smaller place. I said, let, let me just tick it off. Want to hear it? Resource Center. That's the Worldwide Vision Day Center. Church. Not one. Churches. English and Spanish. <laughs> Revival Seminary. slash tower <laughs> stadium slash amphitheater I just gave instruction to them I said we need some gold posts out there for the soccer <laughs> I just instructed them this week because I saw them playing soccer in the building I was playing too over there. Mm. All right. Mm. Television studios. I, I'm just repeating what, what I repeat, what I said already. Music studios, music school, hotel, space to build, auditorium, Bishop B.L. Matthews Auditorium. Christian Tater, Christian Tater in the auditorium, library. I'm just reading. That's all I'm reading. Re I'm just still reading. Restaurant slash cafeteria. Bookstore in the library. Media center in the TV studio. Restoration stage. I'm reading everything. Undesignated centers. There are at least 10 places undesignated right now, right here. There's no sign there. Oh my God. Rehabilit rehabilitation quarters, undesignated rooms, practice pavilions. You probably, if you folks haven't seen that, it's upstairs. Tents. Shipping from New York. Yeah. Campsite. The old place is a campsite. Residences. The house at the end of that, that there was a part of this. Wells. There is one just next to the game room. Springs. I don't know about that one. It just gotta be real. Cabins slash trailers, you'll soon see them. Farms, you'll soon see them. Storehouses, so many they can make apartments. You don't see them. Dormitories.
Come on now, come on now. Sport facilities. Game room. Basketball court. Soccer amphitheater. Table tennis. Punching bag. Uh, um, gym. Come on, come on. That, that, that's more than we announce. Report quarters. Look down there, you'll see. Roads, they are coming. Do you know two roads go through here? Do you know to go all the way through? Ark ship. Because the lake is coming. The lake is coming. And one of the things you on what God has done is giving us this aspect and it will be expanded. Now, how could how could it be that God could be? Remember when we were announcing this. We never knew where we were going. How could it be that God could send us to one place that have 95% of what was announced? And they're all near together. All near. How could it be, church? How could it be? I've never seen nothing like this. Sit down. And then I thank God as I saw one of my sons tonight. He don't know the song that we sing, that he's the one who sang it. God, let's start writing the army. What we waited for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. What we waited for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. A lot of things about ministry folks don't understand. We just go and just be there and just do good stuff for the Lord. It's not like that. It's not like that. God is very orderly. 70 years. 70 years is a lifetime. It's a lifetime of mankind. Am I right? 40 years is a generation. Don't forget these things. 40 years. 30 years is a ministry cycle. Are you there? Jesus, 30. Joseph, 30. Moses, 30. Even... Um, the guy that um, Paul always lean on, this guy, the young guy, Timothy. He was 40 when, Tim when, when Paul said, let no man despise thy youth. But at the time he in ministry already, he, was, he started about 30. Are you there? 30. God has blessed us since 30 years, since the headquarters opened in New York, 30 years. September 2000, sorry, September 1992. And God has supernaturally caused the city that was announced without we know where we are going to be acquired in September 2022. Exactly 30 years exactly a ministry cycle then God gave us a revelation and said take three months of caution because three months is a season are you with me it's a kind there are different kind of seasons but it's a, it's a kind of season and we have obeyed so look how God is perfect it was acquired in September then God said three months of caution Count them for me, count three months for me, count them, come, come. October, come help me, don't let. October, uh, November, uh, December. All this stuff we didn't realize even we're announcing this. The three months finish at the end of December. To start a new year. 
And that's why we shift the great gathering to start here. Yes. So on the first of January 2023 will be a new chapter. Will be a new chapter. Will be a new chapter. Shut up. A new chapter. God, 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 God has shown himself mathematically, spiritually, geographically, miracles, signs and wonders, financially, he has shown himself so perfect that we can't do our own thing. We have to work with what he's doing. I'm going to read a scripture. There were some things I was going to do tonight, but I'm not going to do it that way. I'm not going to do it that way. But I'm going to read a scripture to you. I'm going to read a scripture to you. Psalm chapter 40. Then we're going to pray and leave. And verse 7. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. I'm going to read it. I'm going to read from verse 9. To 11. I have preached righteousness in the great congregation. Lo, I have not refrained my lips, O Lord, thou knowest. I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation. I have not concealed thy loving kindness and thy truth from the great congregation. Withhold not thou thy tender mercies from me, O Lord, for thy loving kindness and thy truth continually preserve me. Stand up, everybody. Hallelujah. This great congregation tonight, as he presented, is not just general as we are reading it. He's talking about the harvest army. <laughs> because he says in Ezekiel 37 and verse 10 onward, he said, a great army. Anybody remember? Bobby heads in prayer. A lot of mighty things happening. Times are changing. There are dramatic things changing. And you want, to, you want to make sure that you are in tune with the timing. Not be shocked. Not be expecting that which time has expired. But be ready to respond to the time. And there's a great call. A new chapter is being carried upon mankind. Those who miss it won't do well. Three years, three years since 2020, the earth has been shaken. Mankind has been shaken three years is also a season mm. or a term for three years 220 to 222 the earth the earth mankind has been shaken things have changed it's not the same no matter how great we are, if we think it's going to be the same, we are going to stumble. We are going to miss our way. Time is missing. Three years have passed. And God is ready for a new chapter. God is ready for a new chapter. And as we enter into this great gathering, in January 1, there will be some dramatic changes 
not only in the body of Christ, not only in God's plan for man, not only in God different categories of timings, dispensations, ages, chapters, Days. My God. Axe. Axe. It will be different. Be ready, my friends. Be ready, world. Be ready, body of Christ. Cheers. Earth has been hit. God is ready for a new chapter. Father, we minister tonight unto your people across the world, mankind, the body of Christ, the harvest. Amen. Worldwide Vision Day and all the other details. Order our steps, Lord. Order our steps. Order our step, Lord. That we will not do the good thing out of order. We will not do the good thing out of timing. But we'll be led by you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we rebuke distraction. Rebuke this order in the name of Jesus. Rebuke everything that does not fit into your will and your time. We break every stronghold in the name of Jesus. There are some folks who are struggling, struggling in your mind struggling in your mind. Some folks are struggling in your mind. You don't feel as strong as you as you should be. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. In the name every struggle, every every weakness, every every mm -hmm, every weakness of the mind. You wish you were stronger to deal with the things that are happening. I break every stronghold of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Lord, I cause your people, Lord, to be ready for a new chapter. I rebuke traditions of men in the name of Jesus. For traditions make the word of God of none of it. And release the supernatural insight and foresight, hindsight, understanding upon the great congregation upon the army of God upon the body of Christ supernatural understanding that Lord as your word says as many as are perfect will be thus minded and if otherwise minded that God will reveal it that we may deal with him. I cover all under the blood. Somebody say in Jesus' name. God bless you.